When stars from Grey's Anatomy and Guardians of the Galaxy come together, you get an impressive cast for a new movie. Stay tuned for the details of this upcoming anthology movie. Speaking of castings, what new residents will be walking the halls of Grey Sloan Memorial Hospital in Season 19? We have The Scoop and Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. What characters can we expect to see? Let's jump right in. The new movie, Give Me an A, has managed to line up a cast of impressive actors, including stars from Grey's Anatomy and the Guardians of the Galaxy. The project comprises 15 short films from over two dozen female filmmakers, all of which are connected by their responses to the recent overturning of Roe v. Wade by the U.S. Supreme Court. The movie will take you on a roller coaster ride through genres including horror, sci-fi, satire, and even black comedy. So who's starring? The cast includes Jason George of Grey's Anatomy, Sean Gunn of Guardians of the Galaxy, Jennifer Holland of Peacemaker, Molly Quinn from Castle, and Jackie Ton from Glow. Okay, it is impressive. Other stars whose names you may recognize include Monique Coleman, Parker Young, Regina Ting Chen, Ian Nelson, Trent Garrett, and Kristen Ariza, to name but a few. Jason George is the actor you know best as Dr. Ben Warren on Grey's, while Sean Gunn plays Kraglin Upfontery in Guardians of the Galaxy. Anyone else remember him as Kirk from the Gilmore Girls? The makers of the film are trying to ensure a quick turnaround of 10 weeks so that the reaction to the overturning is not delayed. When it airs, you won't want to miss it. Jason George is one of the returning characters in season 19 of Grey's Anatomy. Who else will be back? This fall, ABC's Grey's Anatomy will extend its reign as the longest-running American medical drama on television. After 400 episodes, the show remains a top draw and a hit among fans who have been there since the beginning or jumped in via a Netflix binge watch. Through its nearly two-decade run, the cast of Grey's Anatomy has undergone many changes. Patrick Dem Nancy, Catherine Heigl, and Sandra O oh are just some of the stars who launched the series alongside Ellen Pompeo. Pompeo has remained the leading star of Grey's since its premiere episode. But is she leaving? Keep watching as we share what we know about the news of a reduced role. Along with Pompeo, Grey's Anatomy Season 19 will feature two additional cast members who have been with the series since its premiere, Chandra Wilson and James Pickens Jr. Many of the series' other actors have been with it for multiple seasons. Ahead of the Season 19 premiere this fall, ABC has announced a handful of fresh faces that Gray Sloan Memorial Hospital fans will be seeing around the halls and a former attendee is returning. They might be new to Gray's Anatomy, but chances are you've seen their faces before. Alexis Floyd appears as Simone Griffin, Nico Turo as Lucas Adams, Midori Francis stars as Mika Yasuda, Adelaide Kane as Jules Millen, and Harry Shum Jr. as Daniel Kwan. Alexis Floyd had recurring roles in The Bold Type and starred in the Netflix series Inventing Anna. Nico Turo starred with Jake Borelli in Freeform's romantic comedy The Thing About Harry. Midori Francis has appeared in titles such as Dash and Lily and Afterlife of the Party. Adelaide Kane was the lead in the CW's historical drama Rain and appeared in Teen Wolf. Harry Shum Jr. is known for his roles in Glee and Shadowhunters. In season 18, Walsh returned to Grey's Anatomy as Dr. Addison Montgomery, who first appeared in the early days of Grey's and six seasons of the show's spin-off, Private Practice. Variety reported that Walsh would recur in season 19 and make her first appearance in the third episode of the season, and fans are thrilled. In an announcement that surprised everyone, Pompeo revealed that she will appear in only eight episodes in season 19. And and the reason why? She's using the time to star in and executive produce an eight-episode series called Orphan for Hulu. Pompeo told Deadline that Grey's Anatomy will still be just fine without her, as she confirms she'll continue to do the series' narration as Meredith. She hopes her fans will come with her to see the Hulu series in which she plays the mom in a drama inspired by the true story of Ukrainian-born Natalia Grace and her U.S. adoptive parents who claimed that she was an adult sociopath pretending to be a child. She's going to put the same heart and passion into that. Fans are sure to follow in support of their faith. Favorite star. Pompeo, who remains an executive producer for Grey's Anatomy, also revealed when she will be back on the show as Meredith after taking a break to film the Hulu series. I'll be back at Grey's for the finale, and we'll see if we can keep it going, she said. As long as that show's on the air, I'll never truly be gone. In one of the biggest new cast infusions on the show, Pompeo also said that the upcoming season will set up the next generation of Grey's. We're really trying to set up the next generation, she said, and I'm really excited for them. They're really great actors. It helps keep it new and fresh, so we're really grateful to them. Ellen Pompeo gave Grey's Anatomy viewers another reason to cheer after reuniting with Patrick Dempsey on the red carpet. After Patrick Dempsey and Ellen Pompeo reunited on the red carpet, Grey's Anatomy fans found themselves struggling to keep their cool. Dempsey and Pompeo were at Disney's D23 
2023 Expo event in Anaheim, where the two Grey's Anatomy stars were among the host of stars to be honored with the title Disney Legend. As Yahoo Entertainment correspondent Kevin Palawi was interviewing the pair, Dempsey snatched the microphone from Palawi's grasp and tried his hand at being a journalist. Pompeo and Dempsey's characters Meredith Grey and Derek Shepard were married in the hit medical drama. The on-screen chemistry between the pair certainly translated into reality as they divulged over a range of topics, from Pompeo's new limited series to Martha Stewart to Las Vegas and, of course, Grey's Anatomy. Palawi took to Twitter to offer a full-fledged description of the scene, posting two photos of Dempsey with the microphone and Pompeo embracing her former co-star, while the Yahoo employee edged out of shot for the camera. He tweeted, Patrick Dempsey just took my mic, interviewed Ellen Pompeo for five minutes, and declared himself the new host of Yahoo. People were quick to comment on the post, with many begging for the video footage of the interview. One fan wrote, OMG, they are reunited. Another user tweeted, we need the whole video now. He didn't disappoint. The video of the encounter was posted, and its TV show fans were overwhelmed by the heartwarming encounter. Switching gears from medical to the MCU, this summer we saw the Marvel Studios Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 logo revealed. But when can we expect it to appear in theaters? Marvel Studios Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 is slated to release on May 5, 2023. Taking the stage at the San Diego Comic-Con Marvel Studios panel to thunderous applause and cheers, Kevin Feige announced what's coming next out of the Marvel Cinematic Universe in theaters and streaming on Disney Plus. Excited fans saw Chakwudi Awuji come onto the stage in costume, announcing that he'll be playing High Evolutionary in the film. What else do we know? This is a story that has been building since the first Guardians of the Galaxy movie, with Peter Quill and Rocket seeing where Nebula goes, and even Kraglin, who said one or two lines in the first movie and is now a main Guardian of the Galaxy. But before they can get to the end, this ragtag group has to go back to Rocket's beginning. It will explore his early days, and if you thought Baby Groot was cute, just wait until you see Baby Rocket. In Marvel Studios' Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, our beloved band of misfits are looking a bit different. Peter Quill, aka Star-Lord, reeling from the loss of Gamora, must rally his team to defend the universe and protect one of their own. A mission so vital that failure would mean the end of the Guardians as we know them. Fans were also stoked when news of a deleted scene featuring the Guardians of the Galaxy in Thor Love and Thunder was revealed. Thor first met the Guardians of the Galaxy in Avengers Infinity War when he befriended Rocket and Groot. The newly released deleted scene, Wasting Time, was released by the AV Club and is an alternate version of the scene from the original film where the Guardians come up to Thor and ask him for help in a battle. Here, the Guardians provoke Thor into joining them by saying that the hero who helps will be given a statue for their efforts. In Thor Love and Thunder, this scene was shorter by the time it made it to the final cut, with Star-Lord not having to do quite as much to get Thor to join him in battle. The Guardians will next be seen in a festive special for Disney+. Plus. The special is expected to hit the streaming platform later this year. Guardians Volume 3 will then follow in cinemas in May 2023. Paging Dr. Grey how will we fit all of these new shows and films into our schedules? Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.